g is a function from b to c. Then we can define a function from a to c such that the function value under this function is equal to g of f of x. This g compose this this is known as composition of g and f denoted by g o f g composite f so it's a function from a to z now here x is in a and when we apply f to x we will reach f of x which is in b on the set B, we define the function G so that I can apply G on this f of x so that I will get G of f of x. So, if G composite f is defined, then uh, it, it, it is a must that this f of x is in the domain of G. Otherwise, we cannot define G composite f. So, G composite f is defined only if uh, f of a, f of capital M, that means range of f, is contained in domain of G. So, this is an essential condition for G composite f to be defined. So, G composite f is defined. only if this condition is satisfied. That means range of A A F is contained in domain of G. Range of F is contained in domain of G. Otherwise, G composite F is not defined. Okay. Now, Suppose I can uh, define G composite F as well as F composite G. Means range of F is defined, uh, contained in domain of G as well as range of G is contained in domain of F. Both are satisfied so that we can define F composite G as well as G composite F. G composite F. Then are they equal? Whether f composite g is equal to g composite f? May not be. For example, suppose I am taking f of x equal to x square and g of x is equal to 3x. Then, what about g composite f of x? It is g of f of x means g of x square and uh, if I give input as x I will get 3 times x as output so that here I will get 3 times x square. So g composite f of x is equal to 3 times x square. Now what about f composite g of x? This is f of g of x which is f of 3x which is equal to 3x square that is 9x square. So f composite g of x is 3x square sorry g composite f of x is 3x square and f composite g of x is 9x square they are not equal. So, in general, F composite G is not same as G composite F. Okay. Now, suppose F composite G is injective. Means, this function is 1, 1. That means f composite g of x is equal to 
f composite g of y implies x is equal to y. Now, I am going to prove that if f composite g is injective, g is injective. Let's check. Suppose g of x equal to g of y. If g of x equal to g of y, I can apply f on both sides so that I will get f of g of x is equal to f of g of y. That means f composite g of x is equal to f composite g of y. And here we have f composite g of x equal to f composite g of y implies x is equal to y. So from here we get x is equal to y. So we have started from g of x equal to g of y and this implies x is equal to y which means g is an injection. So whenever F composite G is injective, G is also injective. Similarly, you can uh, try whether, um, I will give you one question. F composite G is surjective. Prove that F is surjective. Now we have one theorem. F is from A to B. G is from uh, B to C. So that we have G composite F from A to C. I am taking H as a subset of C. What we have to prove is G composite F inverse of H is equal to F inverse composite G inverse of H. This is what we have to prove. So let's try. Suppose I am taking X in G composite F inverse of H. Then by the definition of inverse image we get G composite F of X is in H. This means G of F of X is in H. And this means F of X is in G inverse of H. This means X is in F inverse of G inverse of H which is equal to F inverse composite G inverse of H. Conversely, if I take X from F inverse composite G inverse of H, I have X is in F inverse of G inverse of H and this means F of X is in G inverse of H. This means G of F of X is in H. That means G composite F of X is in H and this implies X is in G composite F all inverse of H. So from these two, in the first case we have taken X element of X element of G composite inverse of H and we got X element of F inverse of no, not this one. We got um, X element of F inverse composite G inverse of H. 
Then we took x element of f inverse composite g inverse of h and we got x is in g composite f inverse of h. From these two we can conclude that g composite f inverse of h is same as f inverse composite g inverse of h. Okay. By this theorem, we are concluding the first session of our chapter 1. And in next, uh, next session of basic mathematical analysis, I will be discussing the topic mathematical induction. So, study well, go through the first, session, uh, first section. That means videos from session 1 to session 8 carefully. And then we can move on to mathematical induction. All the best.